Hey guys, it's me Zimzel, and I thought it was about time that for um, I, I thought it was about time I did a toy review or not. And since G Fest is on the way, I thought it was about time that I do a review on the first figure that I ever got at my first G Fest. So here is the 1960s vinyl Bullmark Godzilla. Now. Starting off with the figure's detail, this is obviously an interesting figure being that it's a Bullmark figure, which this um, company, Bullmark, as well as Marmot, when they've designed figures, they haven't always made them excessively accurate in terms of, like, movie quality accurate. So they're not X-Plus, they're not SH Monsters. So don't be looking for them. Don't be, don't be going to them for these kinds of figures that are super hyper accurate. But these are really nice figures, though. I will say that these are really nice figures. And this one is obviously from the late 60s. It's vinyl and bullmark. So, obviously, it's pretty nice. And if this is from the 1960s, then it's held up a pretty good amount of time. And starting off the figure's detail, of course, if you look right here, you can see all these rivets and stuff. Um, all this detailing here in the tail and the body, as well as in the arms and stuff. The show, the skin texture. And that's really nice. Like, you can really see all that detail is etched in there into this hard vinyl, which is really nice. Even there with how the spines are all jaggedy and stuff and how that's all done. In terms of paint job as well, the paint jobs very nicely. It's held up a very good amount of time if this is, again, if this is the day it says it is, then man, it's held up a really long time. The eye details are very nice, dark red with that black. This dark, uh, kind of foresty green, I'd say, or if this is a teal or not, but um, that is a very nice green. Obviously, this is green vinyl as well as there's a lot of detailing. There's this little splotch of um, silver right here on the chest itself. So that adds a little bit of detail. And there's a little bit of extra blue-greenish tint here on the back of the spines to show some variation between the normal skin, or scales, whatever you want to call it, and then the spine itself here that runs down all the way here up until it stops here at the tail. I hope my video quality can catch that. Yeah, you should see that right there. The teeth. Now let's get into the teeth. If you can look right here, the teeth are not individually sculpted like some later Bandai figures are. However, their detailing on the front is very nice. And the gums and the mouth inside are painted a nice shade of red. As well as there is small detailing for the tongue in there. However, you cannot see it very well. Like, you could see it in a little bit. You can see the molding just a little bit. But it is a very nicely done. And the slit in the mouth is obviously very nice right here. Which... That's a very nice detail they added, as well as a lot of dots here for the scaling detail there as well. So this is a very nice figure. Of course, obviously, this doesn't really look like any typical Godzilla you can see in any of the movies, but it is still a very awesome looking figure. In terms of, like, the reason I picked up this figure is that from its side view, this portrait view, it just, I don't know, it really just looks like a cool um, Godzilla design for a toy and stuff. So I was just like, man, I really wanted to pick this up. I remember online, I was looking for this on eBay, as well as Amazon, seeing if there's anyone selling this, as well as other smaller, like, things like uh, Tempting Toys, Clonmark Toys, seeing if they had a few. And I remember once on eBay, I saw this for like a few hundred dollars, and I remember a store in New York, um, Toy Tokyo, that store had a few of these, however, they were at a much larger scale. This is a 8.8 inch scale, while there was some there, I think, were 12 inch, or even larger, that were for a few hundred dollars as well, so I was like... I remember there, that was actually where I got my Bemuller figure at that store that same day. So I was like, man, I really wanted those figures, but uh, those are really out of my price range. So the G-Fest I got this at was at G-Fest 19. That was my first G-Fest for anyone who wants to know. So you guys all know that was my first G-Fest. And actually, the funny story was that I was talking with the guy who, um, who was watching the door for right when the dealer's room opened, because me and my friend Mike, we had gotten... We were right at the front of the dealer's room, so that right as the dealer's room opened, we'd be the first people in there. And I remember the dealer that was on the left of the door, that this figure right here was just right up there, right in my face. And I was like, oh man, I cannot believe that. And I was like, I was so ecstatic because I was like, man, I finally found this figure. And I can't believe at the magical place where all Godzilla fans meet, I find the figure I'm looking for right away. And I was talking with the guy who's there. He's a cool guy, though. Um, and I was like, man, that's the figure I'm going for first. And he was like, oh, well, good luck. You'll get it first, obviously, since you're right at the door. So I was like, yeah. And um, right as he said, okay, you guys can go in, I went right in there, grabbed it, went to the person for pricing. They said it was $40. So 
so I got for forty dollars. So I am very happy. Like again, most Bandai figures are around nineteen to thirteen or so dollars, but I don't mind spending forty on this as most other figures like this are around like sixty to a hundred dollars. So this is a really good deal at G Fest. That's pretty nice because usually most of the figures at G Fest are priced pretty nicely. And you can usually, there's a lot of people who have similar figures or varying figures. Like, you can go from booth to booth and see the same figure. And usually they're all priced about the same. So, that's really nice. And this is the first time and the last time I've seen this figure or this style of figure at G-Fest. Like, I've seen other Bullmark Godzillas, like the other famous Bullmark Godzilla, which I wish I had mine with me. It's somewhere, and I'd have to go find it right now, but I wish I had it with me. They had that one pretty, um, that was pretty common at a few G-Fest, G-Fest 19 to G-Fest 20, and a few other, the other Bullmark and Mar and Marmon and Marsan figures from the other monsters were very, um, common. However, this style of Godzilla, I have not seen at any G-Fest since. So, either I got the last one, hopefully, or, not hopefully, I'm sorry for anyone who has been looking for this at G-Fest, but I'm really happy I got it, but... <laughs> In terms of obviously stop motion stuff, in terms of the articulation, you've got obviously the typical 360 arms. And the legs, they do like the kind of um, side here thing. This one's kind of like a kind of loose right here, so I can keep using this like. Eh, eh, eh. And obviously the tail does that 360 right here. So you can, um, this is one of the Godzillas that can do that, God, that Godzilla um, set, the sitting Godzilla. And if you were to use this in stop motion with other similar figures, he's got the um, forward punch. He's not got the like swivel in finger arms, so he can't do the slap contest, but he can do like that punch. So like, you can do that. You're like, Wah. but um, it's very nice, very nice figure. And obviously, as I said, for scaling, this is a eight inch point. This is an eight point eight inch figure. So if you're trying to do this with any six inch figures that don't are that aren't in the same style. I would not recommend it because obviously it's going to look really weird and out of place. But if you have any other figures of that style, I would recommend, yeah, if you want to use this for stop motion, by all means do it. And uh, for scaling, I do not have any other figures of that style. But just for um, reference, um, here is obviously the, um, this is a Gashapon Godzilla 55 that I have on me. So you could do this as a size comparison right here for anyone who has any Gashapons. And the Gatch ones are, I think, 2.5 inches, I believe, or even less. So, see, like, eh, 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 right there. So, yeah, very nice figure. So, that'll be all for now, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And when it comes to G-Fest figures I'll be getting, I will probably be doing a collection update when I come back from G-Fest. However, I don't think I'll be doing full-on reviews for all the figures, unless I get like a Shingo Jira, I will definitely be doing a review for a Shingo Jira if I get one of those. But if any of that, probably won't be doing any reviews, but definitely collection update. I, I, I tell you right now, collection update definitely is coming. So, hope you guys all enjoy these videos coming out and these more reviews.